Hello everybody, today, believe it or not, we're taking a look at a new fake antivirus program. And this is sort of a clone of the older ones that kind of change their name based on what operating system you're using. So it'll either be XP, Vista, Win7, or Win8 Antivirus, Anti-Spyware Protection 2014. And this is the first fake antivirus, or rogue, as they used to call them in a few months, so it's kind of interesting. We'll just go ahead and we'll pick this one. And as you can see, we're in Windows 8 today for variety's sake. Make sure we're running. Oh yes, yeah, so our JPEG library is running here. Very nice. Oh, So it's in App Data Local, in case if you wanted to know details and let's go ahead and try running something Adobe I just quit IE nothing oh come on let's try doing something over here with finances it's weird Windows 8 something or other or it's Windows 8.1 I don't know if I said 8 or 8.1 oh there we go we got something going on a security breach beware spyware infection was found your system security is at risk blah 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 we got a fake action center and then the fake antivirus shows up and as you can see it started to scan it's finding some fake infections there's our fake action center again. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and close it for now. And we've got some infections here like BWME12. You click it and it gives you, oh, well, when it wants to work, it gives you some information about whatever malware that was. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be very stable in Windows 8.1. Let's try running it from app data. Where you at? Oh, you're gonna run. Like it or not. So, I'm not sure why it keeps crashing. This is on a real computer, by the way. Um, it wouldn't run at all on a virtual machine, and I'm not sure if it has to do with my IP address or what, because I've run this a few times, and now it's starting to not like it, so... Anyway, this is the fake antivirus. As you can see, we got a main page with some nice metro style icons telling us about how bad our computer is. We've got some little sliders that we can't slide all the way, they get stuck. Cool. Okay. Close that for now. So that was the scanner, of course. We've got internet security, personal security, proactive defense, and a firewall. We also have some very minimalistic icons up here, which is a bit of a departure from the older rogues that I used to look at years ago. Very gaudy in comparison to these. So we've got a little piece of paper. With our license, we'll look at that in a moment. We got a little telephone. Oh, I guess it's phone support. And of course our settings, which we can't change. And we only have the English language, so what's the point? Let's go ahead and try running some other programs. Ooh, it doesn't like Adobe Reader. We'll just continue unprotected. Let's try running uh, Sport. Is it just gonna crash it? Yeah, I'm not really sure how these rogues handle the Metro apps. Oh, never mind, it just like crashes the entire thing. Well, that's good. That's good. Run it again. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the payment page before this thing crashes one more time. Go ahead and stop the scan. Yes, register now. Do it. So we can either get a $60, $80, or $100 license. Very nice. And let's go ahead and check out their premium support. Softcleaning.net. I don't even know. We got a program update down here. Win 8 Anti Spyware 2014 Patents Effective Anti Spam Technology in the USA. 
cool. Win 8 Anti Spyware 2014 previews the latest virtualization security solution at VMworld 2011 Europe. What? Okay. So we got some support over here. We can email them or call a phone number. Oh, come on. Are you guys going to make me do this? Alright, fine. But, not gonna do a crank call. I'm gonna do something that somebody asked me about in the comments a while back, and I think more than one person did it. They were basically saying that, why can't you just uninstall this program from, like, programs and features or add remove programs? Well, oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna run, okay? But anyway, they usually make these programs where you can't just uninstall them easily. You have to remove them with some kind of anti-malware program. But let's see if these people will let me uninstall their program. Or how easy it might be. Where you at, notepad? Are you going to run or are you going to crash? Well, of course we can't get it to crash now. Anyway, let's call the number, see what we got. Four, five, four... Two three nine fifty eight thirty seven. That's a damn shame. Well, maybe it's because it's late, I don't know. But anyway, maybe we'll try some other time. Let's go to their homepage. That Win8 Anti Spyware 2014 at the 2013 price. Nice. Very nice. Buy now and get one year license free. Cool. Buy it. Well, anyway. Oh, you close it and it just crashes awesome. Well, thankfully the removal process for this is the same whether or not it just crashes at random or if it actually works and stays on all the time. So what we're going to be doing is booting into safe mode and then downloading Malwarebytes anti-malware and then running some sort of scan with that and then we'll be done. So first let's try to get into safe mode with Windows 8.1. See if I can figure it out. Let's just do it the manual way, which I think is just in MS config. You can do it. Boot, safe boot, network. Restart. Okay, so this appears to be safe mode. It's definitely a lower resolution. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Let's actually first, oh well, resolution's actually high enough, so we're going to go ahead and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and run a scan with that. Go to malwarebytes.org, free version, download now, go ahead and save it, go ahead and run it. Next, accept the agreement. Next. Go ahead and disable the free trial of uh, premium and just click finish. Alright, well this is a bit annoying here. It didn't actually connect to our network for some reason. Or did it? What? No, I just downloaded it off the internet. What am I talking about? Anyway, just ignore that. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to scan up here and then just do a threat scan. And it'll actually automatically update before it runs the scan, so you don't even have to worry about that. And this will take just a few minutes, so I will be right back. All right, so our scan has completed, and we have two infections found. Just go ahead and click Apply Actions, and go ahead and click Yes to Reboot. 
And while we're waiting for that, let me try giving these guys a call again. Trying to connect the call. Come on, track phone. Are we gonna work or what? Huh, <sighs> unfortunately not. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Alright, so we forgot one thing. We gotta go back into MS config and disable the safe boot thing, so MS config. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and go to back to boot. Uncheck safe boot. Click OK. And go ahead and restart. Well, let's try calling them one more time. Who knows? Maybe we'll luck out. Call. Recording an error. Shut the fuck up. Alright, so we are back to Windows. Back to the desktop. And that is just about it for Win 8 Anti Spyware 2014. Uh, Malwarebytes, if, if you happen to have a folder of malware on your desktop, the threat scan and Malwarebytes won't pick it up, so you'll just have to delete it yourself. And that will wrap up Win 8 anti-spyware slash protection slash antivirus 2014. Thank you all very much for watching and take care.